to a slick new vid. Today I'm just going to be doing a haul. Uh, I got a whole bunch of <clears throat> new makeup products and new clothes and like stuff from Dolls Kill. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to start off with the makeup products first. So the first item I have got... This is the fake na uh, Naughty Kylie Jenner palette. It's actually like the shittiest, like, and, okay, I get that it's fake. It, the, the pigment's not, like, that bad, but I feel like it, it's really cheap. But even the colors don't speak to me. I don't know what Kylie was thinking, like, because, like, they replicated that. So let's say if I did have the real one, the colors don't really, you know, like, they're not even Christmas. So this was, like, a... I never even used it because it's just like, eh. This is the Cat's Pajamas Laura Lee palette. I'm not a big fan of the colors. I The packaging is really pretty. And it's not that bad. Like, I feel like, yeah, like the, the colors are, like the pigments are good. I just feel like I have so many neutral palettes. And I don't even like neutral colors, as you can see by my eyes today. Um, so yeah. And I don't really like Laura Lee anymore and subscribe just because her and Jeffrey got in an argument or whatever. I don't know what happened, but I'm on Jeffrey's side always. So yeah, fuck her. <laughs> okay, so I got this slick steal, you guys. This is Makeup Forever's... I don't know where... I threw the box out. It was $25 at Winners. Like, this was the holiday edition, so I can tell why it was $25. Um, it's crap. Like, this on your eyelid is the muddiest blue. Like, I want this shimmer blue up there, and it turns like this. And I was really disappointed in that one. And so I'm not looking forward for any of the other shades. They look really nice there, but... I don't know like look even this pink I just went like that so I don't know like I think this was a their shittiest palette so that's why winners had it I don't know I love their singles but whenever they do a palette it's actually crap another thing I got from winners I kept the box and here's the thing I don't like Mac I don't support Mac but I really like their pigments and I know this is not cruelty free which you know like I really hate but I really wish it was just because this was only $7.99 okay it comes with a brush and the little pigment so here's the brush and it's really like shitty like the hairs I already used it but like I don't know if you can see the hairs like I don't know they're all like um anyways I thought you get like a blue too for some reason because you know the packaging has like a blue so but you only get the shitty green and it is like eight dollars I got from winners Dude, fuck me in the ass. These are like pop on nails, lime crime, lime crime. And these were only $12.99, okay? And I actually used them and they're actually really good. Like, I mean, after the second day, one fell off and I just had to re glue, but they're so pretty, you guys. Like, the packaging it comes with the glue in the back and I also $25. Highlight. Bitches. It was broken, so it was 30 but I got it at uh, 25 Look, I love this green, you guys. This was at fucking Winners. Uh, Lime Crime is my favorite brand, and it's like, <laughs> what a steal. They had Blossoms too there, but I didn't want to buy two, but I do really like these because I have this one. And I think the reason why they send them is just like, if they're like really scratched up, they give a discount type of thing, like with Winners, because like, this one I paid full, right? But look at the sticker on this one. Maybe they were like, oh, fuck, we're just gonna, you know, give it to winners. And same with this. This packaging was really scratched up. So that's what I'm thinking. Palette from one of my best friends. It is really dirty, but it is the Fenty Beauty. I got it for Christmas. I don't know if I put it on my channel or not. Uh, I really like this palette. I just wish there was more colors. As in, like... If you look at it, there's a lot of browns and, like, golds. And I really, like, the ones I reach for is, like, the blue, the green, the pink. This blue is really pretty. And it's, like, the rest is, like, like, there should be, like, um, really, like, vibrant colors. Because, like, this is a really nice, like, pigment. It's kind of like my Moon Dust palette. Alright, so my last makeup products are the new Katie Cad glosses. I don't know if I added this in my channel. They're okay. I don't like the gold one. 
I like this one. I thought it would be more sheer because I like a sheer gloss. I really do like the sparkly sheer glosses. Um, this one's pretty because it's like really sh like shimmery. But this one seems to be just like, I mean, it looks shimmery in the tube, but when you have it on, it's just like a brown. And I'm like, I don't want br like, like caca brown. Like it's like, like it's ugly. But look, I can't hate them because they have little cats. So I'm going to buy more. I do, the white one is like so bad. Like why would anyone want, like, okay. I thought it'd be like a sheer white, you know, like a nice like whitewash, like, but not even like white, like more like very very faded nah bitch it's white it's disgusting and i don't know why you'd want a gl gloss like that was six dollars six at winners sigma beauty fucking powder what the fuck i've always wanted to try sigma um but i am very poor it's like a duo chrome like gold to red i think they had Sig uh, they also had um uh what is it uh, like a blush for like darker skin tones because it like it had the shade on it or something and they also had like a foundation for darker skin tones um so this was the only thing that I could find that's just actually like that I'm able to test out so this looks really cool and because I can use this for eyeshadow I don't know if it is eyeshadow it just says oh it's loose shimmer so I can just use it as honestly anything um, but look at the holographic, like, packaging, like, fuck Sigma, yes. I've been following them on social media forever, and I just never got around to, like, actually ordering stuff from them, just because I have so many things to buy. Guys, the last three things, well, two, th like, I counting all the I went to Claire's, it was buy 12, get 12, I got these lashes, I know you're like, ew, Claire's. We're gonna test them out one day, and they, they look like crap, but they were a dollar, like, it says three, but it's 12 for 12. Um... I feel like I would maybe use this, but I don't know why they have to add these gross-ass gemstones. Like, no one's gonna use the rhinestone ones. They look so bad. Like, this one's okay, but, like, what the fuck is with this glitter? I don't know, Claire's, why do you do this? I also just, side thing, I went to Dollarama. Look at these cute little unicorn horn pens. Look, it has a little dolphin. I bought it. The last one, bitch! The kids are gonna be so sad. Alright, guys, and before we move on to the clothes... One thing, I don't know if I showed you this, this is my new makeup bag, super cute, it's like a fucking pill vial, if you guys like pills like me, you would really like this, if you guys like read it, like just pause and read it, it is so cute, it was like 50 bucks, but like completely worth it, and here, when you open it, like it's really well made, like it's from Dolls Kill, and you can put your brushes there, I have a whole bunch of shit in here, see a gloss like this guys, like a, I don't know, kitty cat gloss bitch, anyways, yeah. And there's like a little barcode. Like it's so cute. So yeah, anyways, time for the clothes. First are these cool ass shades. 20 bucks. Everything, or like four of these things was buy one, get one half off. And that's the first guy. Uh, I really like, and these are all from Dolls Kill, by the way. Um, I did buy this. Um, it was 50 bucks and I just have to exchange it for an extra large not that I'm super fat like it fits But it's like with a big chest and growing a butt It's like also like my back fat obviously let's just be real here my um, it's just not super flattering um, Just needed to size up like it fits at least it fits like I'm not that fat, but like I want a comfortable fit. I'm just, I'm not gonna do a try on just cause like I already tried all these on and I like them. I'll insert pictures if I have them. These guys are fucking cool. I have to buy um, underwear that goes like up the stomach, like from like, well, I guess Sears is closed down or like the bay that's nude just cause my stomach, right? Like everyone has a stomach that they're ashamed of and you know, that's just me. I'm not like the skinniest, obviously not, or the fattest, but uh, everything else is really pretty. I just wish they didn't make this so high so then I don't have to do that. Um, or like I wish it starts a bit lower cause then I wouldn't need it, but like... <laughs> Don't want my rolls to show. So yeah, I really like these. These were $48. I can so see why though. Like, look how fucking cool this is. Like the, it's like, I don't know what material this is. Hold on. Uh, this is also a size large. This is Current Mood, Dolls Kill. And it's 100% Polycure. 
thin coated face and 93 polyester 70% spandex so I, yeah like that like it's not just like it's good shit you know it's not like if you go to um urban planet anyways next I do have two really cute bralettes I tried these on they're super adorable um the one thing that I do have to say is if you're bigger chested obviously go up a size like I usually am medium for upper chest but like like around my waistband and for shirts and stuff but for these i'm a large just because like these cups like can't fit anything so i made sure to get a large actually hold on i think these are extra large so even if you got a large yeah these are both xl just because also these little flimsy guys do not support shit all so this would be cute for like a few hours doing you know what um like, because that's, like, why I bought them. Because they're super, like, sexy. Let's be real here, guys. Like, the little heart at the boobs. Like, so cute. If I was thinner, this would look a lot better. It still looks nice. Like, I'm very happy with what it looks like. But the band is really, like, like, I'm um, small and flimsy. But it is super cute. For $16, I am not complaining. I'm just saying if you do end up buying a bralette from Dolls Kill, definitely size up if you're bigger chested just because also I always have to like size these like like dude like I like it tighter so that my tits can go up not like just flop down but otherwise it's comfortable like I yeah so then we go that my other bralette hold on let me just put it together this one is so cute I got it myself for Valentine's Day because I don't have a boyfriend and I'm never going to get one just because God hate me and hates me um this these two are, by the way, from Sugar Thrills, like, from Dolls Kill. Super cute. Like, this looks really good. Like, like if you have also bigger chest, I feel like these look better on flat-chested people just because then, like, the side, you won't have that huge side boob. Like, I really like it, but that, yeah. And then the back has a little bow, and I don't know. I just really like this one. And that one, since it was a Valentine's thing, it came in, like, this cute little... Sugar Thrills Valentine's box with like all these hearts and I'm keeping that box. I got um, Most of these I got today. So I'm like um, Is this cool ass Fuck off humans humans um, Yeah, super cute. This was $48, but like I said like everything was buy one get one half So like I I put this one and like that club outfit together So it was like $50 each so then I got plate 50 and 25 and then uh, these two that I got are $16 each to 20 so then I just got that. So you guys, that's everything for my haul today. I hope you enjoyed. I have to go to work. Um, but yeah, so far, everything I buy from Dolls Kill, I love. This is the first time I ever had to do an exchange, so... Just because it's, like, cheaper make lets me real here. I didn't feel like fucking Louis Vuitton. So, bye!